Problem number 19 in our workbook talks about determining maximum demand for a single domestic installation. The load list is listed there on the sheet. The first load within the installation is 22 lighting points. Because it's a single domestic installation, we're going to consult table C1 in AS3000. Notice how table C1 is broken up into load groups. Continue on for a number of pages. Firstly, lighting is listed as load group A and it's broken down into two subsections. One's essentially indoor and the other one's outdoor lighting exceeding a total of a thousand watts. We're going to concentrate on load group A1 and the calculation used will be 3 amps for the first 20 points and 2 amps for each additional 20 points or part thereof. The calculation for this particular one will be 3 amps for the first 20 and 2 amps further on. Load group is A1 and the load is lights. That gives us a total of 5 amps. Next on the load list is 24 double socket outlets, 10 amps each. So because they're doubles, each point counts as a point. So therefore 24 doubles actually gives us a total of 48 points. Just make a quick note about that. Load group B1 talks about socket outlets not exceeding 10 amps. The calculation being 10 amps for 1 through to 20 points and 5 amps for each additional 20 points or part thereof. So therefore for socket outlets not exceeding 10 amps, load group B1, we would allow a total of 10 amps for the first 20 plus 5 for the next 20 which would take us to 40 plus an additional 5 for the rest. That takes us to 20 amps. The next component of maximum demand is a 15 amp socket outlet. A 15 amp outlet is used for particular purposes such as use in a laundry. It might fall under load group C. If it falls for fixed space heating, it might fall under load group D. At this stage, there's nothing listed on this to say what it's for, so we're just going to say it's general purpose. Therefore, we would go back to our socket outlet group, load group B, and subcategory would be two. One or more 15 amp outlets, our contribution is 10 amps. Another consideration is that if there's two 15 amp outlets, and just for general purpose, the total contribution is 10 amps, not 10 amps each, 10 amps total. So 15 amp outlet, contributing 10 amps. The next part of the maximum demand exercise is to account for the one six kilowatt cooktop. And while we're there, we're going to look at the 3.9 kilowatt wall oven. The reason that we're going to bundle those up is because looking at table C1, we can see that uh, both of those fall within category low group C, which is ranges, cooking appliances, laundry equipment or socket outlets rated at 10 amps, more than 10 amps for the connection thereof. So let's add those two items together on our sheet. Load group C, both of those together have a total of 9.9 .9 kilowatts. And the connected load for those is going to be 0.5. That gives us a total of 21.5 amps. Lastly, a 4.4 kilowatt storage hot water unit. And we see in load group F, storage water heaters. There's also a reference to footnote 13 
once again these are fairly important so you should always consult those storage type water heaters including quick recovery are not covered by note 12 so that's just a reference to quick recovery such as the zippy boils and things like that so once again load group f 19.1 amps now adding all of those up together will give us our total of our maximum demand for this particular installation total for this installation is 75.6 amps 